Hi, I hope you guys are having um, as good of a day as you can. I hope nobody's getting too stressed out about the coronavirus. Um, I want you to know as far as coronavirus goes, I am taking it very seriously without um, panicking and, and thinking the sky is falling in. As far as the market goes, everything is still looking okay. Um, I obviously don't have a crystal ball. We might see a little bit of a slowdown with everyone hunkering down. As far as me, I will go and show homes to people and of course we'll keep our distance, no, no hugging, no handshaking. Um, so I'm still happy to go show you homes if you would like to go see homes. Um, as far as open houses go, when I have my listings, I will not be doing open houses because I want to um, make sure I follow the directions of no more than 10 people in the same area at a time. And so I won't be having open houses, um, but agents can still show my listings. So anyway, if you have any questions or concerns about the market, please give me a call or send me a text. I'm happy to chat with you and let you know anything I know. Um, so anyway, the reason I am doing this today is of course, all of you know from all my postcards, that I love to bake. And um, so today I'm going to show you how to make bread. And everything you need, you probably have at home except one thing, which is yeast. I know a lot of people, unless they're big bread makers, don't really have yeast on hand. So this is sap yeast. You don't have to use it. This is just the kind of yeast I use. Um, I believe they have it at Fresh Market and at Winco. Um, and then the Bosch Kitchen Store and on, on Amazon. So anyway, the other ingredients you'll need, super simple, just flour, sugar, butter, and salt. So bread is super easy to make. And anyway, it'll be a lot of fun for you maybe to make it with your kids or your spouse or by yourself. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to start with, two, this will make two loaves of bread. So I am going to start with two cups of warm water. You don't want to get it too hot because it will kill the yeast. And then I put in, for this recipe, one tablespoon of yeast and two tablespoons of sugar. When I make my wheat bread, I use honey, but I figured everybody has white flour and not everybody has wheat. I am going to start out with three cups of flour and I'm going to see how um, how it's mixing and I usually add enough flour so or I always add enough flour in the end so it makes a little ball of dough right around the kneader okay and I know a lot of you have kitchen aids so hopefully this is very helpful <clears throat> So I'm mixing in, I'm going to add in the butter. This is three tablespoons of butter. It hasn't um, been softened for too long, but with the warmth of the water and everything, I'm not worried about it going into clumps. It'll just all mix in. So I'll let that mix a little bit longer. And now, as you can see, it's, it's sticking to the sides of the bowl, right? So I will slowly add in, I'm going to turn down my mixer while I add this in. Oh, there is a little clump of butter, but that will mix in. So I, I added in another half cup of flour. trying to do, I'm trying to get the dough to clean the side of the bowls. And once it cleans the side of the bowls, then I know that I have enough flour. And while I'm waiting for that to clear the side of the bowl, I am going to add in a teaspoon of salt. Now remember the salt. 
I've forgotten it several times when I started baking and it makes the bread, it makes the bread not have a taste. Honestly, it's horrible. So remember the salt, but not while, not, don't add it directly to the yeast. The salt and the yeast need to be separated. Okay, so I'm waiting for this to form a ball. I'm going to turn up the mixer just a little bit. You'll have to hold on to your mixer because it will dance around your countertop and you want to make sure it stays on the countertop and it doesn't get on the ground. And I think this is this is really good. So if you can see, we don't have any um, anything stuck on the side of the bowl, and so we know we have a good um, consistency. So we'll let that knead for about eight minutes. And I am to step two of the process of making bread. Um, I am going to, depending on what you have, I have an oven that has a bread proofer. So if you have an oven with a bread proofer, go ahead and put it in your oven with a cup of hot water. If not, just get a dish towel that's soaked in hot water, squeeze it out, and cover up your bread until, or your dough, until it almost doubles in size. I'm usually not patient enough to wait for that. Um, so anyway, I'll show you what that looks like right now. It's been about 20 to 30 minutes, just depending on the how warm your house is. Um, it hasn't quite doubled in size, but I think it's just fine. So I'm going to take this out of the mixer, and I've already greased two bread pans. So right here, but of course you can use any size you'd like if you wanna make little loaves or whatever. And I am going to um, pinch the dough, don't tear it, pinch it to separate it into two different loaves. And I love, I love how the dough feels. So nice and soft. Um, and then we'll put it in our pan. I kind of pound on it to get out any air bubbles. Um, I also am not a perfectionist. I personally like baking that has a little character. So my loaves will not be perfect. If you want your loaves to be perfect, I think that's great, but mine won't be perfect. Now I am going to put them back in the oven and, or, or in my proofer, but it, whatever, if you are just doing it on your countertop, again, cover it with a cloth. And then when it gets about that much, above the the pan then you're ready to start baking it okay i just took the bread out of the proofer so if it's been in the oven and it looks about like this and go ahead and take it out or if it's on your countertop it looks like this and what i'm going to do next um i learned this when i worked at the bosch store and i was um just learned a whole bunch about baking bread put it in um, your oven and then start your oven at 350 and then the bread will rise just a little bit more as it's baking. And you should be baking it for about 25 to 30 minutes. I just took the bread out of the oven and you can see we have two beautiful loaves of bread. I wish you could smell it, it smells wonderful in my house. Before I end this video, I forgot at the beginning to let you know that interest rates have dropped. They are not 0% like some people are thinking, but they are really amazingly low. So if you think it's time to refinance your house or if you have any questions, let me know. If I don't have a good answer for you, of course I will, um, will have you contact your lender and it's really a great time to refinance uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, to lower your interest rate, and for those of you who have mortgage insurance to drop that off. So anyway, if you have any questions about making the bread or of course about real estate, please give me a call or send me a text. Have a great day.